Watch this. On July 6, 1975, 50 Cent was born as Curtis James Jackson III to a drug dealer mother. When he was eight, his mother died in a strange fire accident. This compelled his father to abandon the family. Curtis was left in the care of his grandmother. Curtis's childhood aspiration was to become a heavyweight boxer. He fought at the junior level. However, to make ends meet, he began to sell hard drugs at the age of 12 and reportedly took guns and drugs to his school where he got caught one time. Curtis dealt in crimes, drugs and violence till he was 19 when he was arrested by an undercover police officer for selling four vials of cocaine. When the police raided his home, three weeks later, some packs of crack cocaine and heroin were found. Although Curtis was sentenced to prison, he was sent to a booth camp where he got his general education diploma. At this time, Curtis had an epiphany and decided to go into rapping by taking on the name 50 Cents. Curtis transit from criminal life to music didn't seem to end his challenges. Jam Master Jay from the group Ron DMC was Curtis's first contact. Jay was impressed by Curtis's rapping ability and promised to help him. Nevertheless, this was an empty promise as his supposed debut album never came out. Disappointed, Curtis moved on to Trackmasters, who signed him to Columbia Records. Although Columbia also gave false hope to the young aspirant, his popularity began to grow after his controversial underground single, How to Rob. Curtis's journey in the music industry was almost cut short in 2000. While he was on a visit to his grandmother, Curtis was shot nine times at close range in the hand, arm, hip, both legs, chest, and left cheek by a gunman later revealed as Daryl Baum. Though the attempt was to kill Curtis, he miraculously escaped and was fully recovered after five months. This incident also increased his fame. He formed the group G-Unit together with Tony Yayo and Lloyd Banks. Together, they released the mixtapes Guess Who's Back and 50 Cent is the Future. But he wasn't anywhere near the big league. Curtis's rise to fame truly began in 2002 when his track Guess Who's Back was heard by Eminem and Dr. Dre, who were impressed. The duo subsequently signed Curtis to their labels, Shady Records and Aftermath Entertainment. Curtis worked himself hard to make this new investment successful. In 2003, his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying, produced by Eminem and Dr. Dre, became a huge commercial success that sold about 9 million copies. This success skyrocketed Curtis into fame. Presently, Curtis has sold more than 25 million copies of his total records and has received several music awards. Here's the thing. The road that leads to fame, success, or any progress is often filled with some unimaginable obstacles. You might be born in a bad or poor environment that will leave a mark on you forever. You might be hated by some people and because of that, they are determined to see you fail or even dead. Somehow, life will always give you more headaches than you think you are capable of handling. If you decide to give up, then you lose. The only power you have is hope. Hope in a better tomorrow. James Langston Hughes said, Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Don't allow your physical situations to overcome the power of your spirit. Keep your dreams alive and water it every day. If you were born in poverty, remember that 50 Cent was born in poverty. If you think you were unlikely to be born in a wrong environment, so was 50 Cent. If you have wasted a part of your life behind the bars, you are not alone. If you have some haters who want you dead, remember that the biggest revenge for haters is more success. In all, remember that you can't drive fast looking at the rare mirrors. Look forward and focus on your dream destinations. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next video. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.